Hi everybody, my name is Jason DeWild and I'm the head of audio here at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to another episode of a micro lecture. Today we're going to be talking about, I think, one of the coolest synthesizers inside of Pro Tools and this is, uh, this is called Expand. Expand you uh, can get actually just as a, as a free plugin uh, when you buy Pro Tools 8 and I'm going to show you a little bit uh, over the next couple of micro lectures on how this one works. So let's have a look at the first one now, yeah? I have a, a session open and I have an instrument track here and the instrument track has got expand this synthesizer inserted on it. I'm just going to actually quickly name that expand so that we know where we're going. And the um, what I'm now going to do is it's it's a synthesizer. So as you play the synth, yeah, it's got a nice kind of bright pad sound there. But we're going to use it in a number of different ways. It's actually uh, even though it's one synthesizer plugin. It's actually got four different synthesizers attached to it. And today I'm going to demonstrate how this actually all works. But first, let's um, import some, uh, some MIDI tracks. So I'm going to grab some, uh, some MIDI that I've already prepped from before. I've got to find it now. Here we are. Expand. So I go into my MIDI files. And it's just a, a bunch of MIDI files that I programmed a little earlier. I'm going to import that into a new track. Okay, so here are my MIDI tracks here. Okay, I know that this very first track, and I'll just quickly show you all this on the um, other window. Yeah. Um, on this first track, I know that this is a piano, so I'm just going to rename this piano. The next one is a bass track, so I'm going to name that bass. The next one is a, sort of like a brass type horn section, so I'm going to just name that horns. And the last track is a saxophone track, so I'm going to name that sax. Okay, so I've got four MIDI tracks. Now, obviously these four MIDI tracks don't actually produce any sounds whatsoever, but we're going to channel them into Expand. And here's how we do it. But first, let's have a look at Expand. Okay, I'm going to call up now, I've got four different sounds here, so I'm going to actually now call up on Expand the four different sounds here. So instead of bright pads, I go into this little uh, drop down menu here and I'm going to go under pianos, uh, if I can find more, keyboards, uh, acoustic piano, I'm going to choose upright piano, uh, honky tonk piano. Next one, um, let's go and choose a bass of some sort. So here we go for basses and I'll do a slap bass for that one. And on this synth, I'm going to do some brass, so brass and woodwinds. Uh, let's just do natural brass section. And here, I'll choose another brass and we'll go tenor sax. Okay, so we've got, even though it's one synthesizer, we can actually load in four different sounds onto this synthesizer. Okay. Now, at the moment, what we need to do is we need to assign these to a different MIDI channel. So, at the moment, this is all going to be playing the same information. So, what I'll do is one synth, I'll make MIDI channel one. The next synth, I'll make MIDI channel number two. The ninth synth after that, make MIDI channel number three. And the fourth one, make MIDI channel four. So, we've got now four different synthesizers and four different MIDI channels. Now, I go back to my uh, my synth tracks here. Okay, each MIDI track on um, on Pro Tools can be assigned to a different destination. So here is the output of the piano track. So when I click on here, you'll notice that expand actually comes up in the list, and I want that to go to MIDI channel num number one, and that's going to correspond to MIDI channel number one over here. The bass track, I want that to go to expand MIDI channel number two, and that's going to correspond to the MIDI channel two over here. Then MIDI channel number three will make the horns go to MIDI channel three, so that'll correspond to that synth, and the fourth one will go to MIDI channel number four. Okay. All right, so we've now got it basically set up um, how we want to hear it. So well, I'm going to just, just mute the other first tracks to start off with, and I'll play it. OK, 
Okay, so this information here is going into the honky tonk piano. We've also got the bass, so let's play that one now. And now introduce the horns. And now finally the saxophone is So we've now got this ability to have this synthesizer that we've got, even though it's just one plug-in, it's actually got the ability to play back multiple sounds. This is what's called a multi-timbral synthesizer. And of course what you can then see, you might have noticed, that each synthesizer part, each synth, has actually got its own level, its own pan control, and two effect settings as well. So we can do a little bit of a mix right as we go. So I'm going to maybe just start with everything turned down, and then just gradually build it up. So here's our piano, and I might have that over the left hand side. The bass, I'll have that one in the centre. The brass, Sacks in the centre. So you have a very, very good versatile way. Now this is just one of the uses that you can do for this cool synth. Later on in the next micro lecture, we're going to see how we can lay it to produce even more rich and versatile sounds. Until then, great seeing you again. All the best.